Hi Scorpio, this is uh, Opulent Spiritual, another reading. This is going to be for May 2024, so the monthly cup. So let's find out what's going on for you. If you like what I do, consider subscribing and giving me a like. It helps support me and the channel. So if you want, you know. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Well, I see money on the outside right here, right away. And I cut my effing thumb the other day. <sighs> All right. Well, that was sticking to the cup. So you have a wish coming true this month. It's going to make you very happy. There's a lot of uh, tears here. But yeah, you have a big amount of money right here. That is connected to some kind of path. So this could be connected to travel or like overseas. Maybe you're making a deal like overseas or something. All right, so here's your cup. It's a tiny cup, so I have to really uh, point this in the right direction. Yeah, so you have a contract here, right in the beginning of the month. You have some kind of contract you're signing. This could be property, a new home, because that's what I'm getting at first. So this could be like some kind of property you're buying or getting the deed for. This also could be something with a promotion. You're signing a contract. It's going to make you very happy. And it's like very overwhelming here. Maybe this is something you've been waiting for. I'm seeing a completion here. There's a ring here. This also can represent a, a commitment with marriage here. Like you're getting married. So yeah, you're coming together with somebody here. It's, it's very, I'm hearing faithful here. And I'm seeing the swan flying towards this ring so if you haven't met this person yet or you're single you're meeting someone in love that's going to be the one that you're going to actually get married to and have a long-term relationship with and sign a contract you know marriage license all that stuff so i'm seeing right here is someone with glasses but they don't have any other face it's just the glasses and it's connected to this path so this could be someone watching you like a secret admirer here Hmm. And I'm getting a glare like on my eye. So like I keep seeing like a reflection and it's like weird, like in my eye. So there's something with like a reflection here. But yeah, there's someone here with glasses that's connected to this path. It's very uh, strange. I'm also seeing Chinese ear of the horse right here. And... If we look closer in here, I'm seeing a number eight. Year of the goat, Leo. And I also saw a number three in there as well. But where is it? I lost it on here. Yeah, it's right here. Yep, there's number three. There's a Y for yes, for yellow here, letter J. Something with that number six, uh, Gemini, um, Gemini season or Gemini could be significant here. Maybe that's someone that's coming towards you in love. Uh, number six can be Chinese ear of the snake as well. Hmm. Yeah, there's like a lot of lightning bolts and action. There's action being taken here. This is very fast now. For some reason, it's like electronic. You know what I mean? And I'm also seeing a goat here. So Chinese year of the goat also could represent Aries or Capricorn here, either one. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm also hearing no gender, so I don't know what that means, but yeah, I'm also hearing that letter F and there's some kind of, yeah, Chiron is here, something with Chiron. And I'm trying to do this without my phone like the screen getting foggy so you guys can see it because you know it gets like out of focus so maybe you're seeing something clearly now maybe it was just out of focus i'm seeing letter j here and yeah there's, there's something with like a development here with your spirituality like you're getting enlightened about something here in the next three days to three weeks and <clears throat> i don't know what's going on my throat's like, it's something about speaking up. 
And I just had grapefruit too, so it could be like effing up my throat right now. Not like that, but like, it's like sour, so maybe like sour stuff. But like, look at this polar bear. Isn't this like really cute? It's like a whole polar bear right here. So something about the Arctic, you know, polar bears are very beautiful, right? And yeah, I'm hearing single mother, so maybe you're like a single mother or something like that. But it's something about family and good luck here. I mean, look how beautiful it is. You see the little ears and the nose. I mean, you should just subscribe just for seeing this polar bear because this is amazing. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, very interesting. You have a star here. You're connected to Chinese ear of the dog. So Aquarius energy here, letter L. But yeah, there's someone coming towards you to help you. I'm seeing number three above this person. So yeah, maybe the third or the next three days, three weeks. That's very important for this cup. There's two friends helping you. Two Chinese ear of the dogs here. Two different people here that are coming in to help you. I'm seeing number eight here. So maybe the eighth is significant in the next eight days from this cup. Letter B, Chinese ear of the goat and Leo energy. I'm here in London, bridge is falling down. You know, my fair lady type of shit. I don't know what that means, but maybe there's a tower moment going on here. And I'm seeing a hand here that's trying to measure, like going like this. So, oops. So you could be doing that. I don't know with your hand or there's someone that's saying like, this is too small or too big. I'm seeing letter C here, letter J, letter L at the bottom of the cup. And again, number three is here. So you could be seeing 333 a lot this month. Yeah, you have an eye here. Right here. So something about evil eyes. Someone's maybe jealous of you, around you. I'm seeing cancer here. And I'm also seeing a skull right here. So this is representing the death card. Or there could be a death here. Or this could represent you, Scorpio energy. Maybe you're dealing with another Scorpio. This could be one of your friends. They could be connected to a cancer or something. But there's something with that here. Letter B. Hmm. I'm also seeing like a giant eagle spirit here. So you're definitely completing something. You're 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 very um goal-oriented. I just got a deaf tone in my ear right now. So you could be getting deaf tones from spirit. Trying to tell you something important before you make a move. I'm seeing uh, an X here. So maybe an X is going to try to come back towards the end of the month. I'm seeing letter R here, letter D, letter L, letter K. And yeah, it's interesting because over here, right, there was that path, you know, letter Z, you know, with those two friends and whatever. And then it got clear for a second. And now it's like, you have to make a decision here. Sagittarius is here. Something with Sagittarius or Sagittarius season. But like this path is open, but there's a lot of tears here. So I don't know, maybe this is the most exciting one. Maybe this is the one you've been waiting for. It has the most tears. It's the only, it's the one that has the only tear. So this could be choices in love as well. Maybe you're choosing somebody and this is the like the one, you know, that's going to bring you to tears like, wow, I finally found my my person. You know what I mean? Chinese ear of the monkeys here. And I'm also seeing the ace of cups right here. So it's a brand new beginning, an emotional brand new beginning here. Very exciting. You also need to watch who you trust with your secrets here. A lot of Leo is here as well. Your plate's pretty clear. Yeah, because everything is happening this month for you. All right, I'm seeing a giant tooth here, like, and it's invisible. So it's like tooth fairy energy here. I'm also seeing year of the ox and Taurus here. I'm also seeing number 10 here in parentheses. So that means something to somebody. So maybe the 10th is important. So you're going to get some kind of wish, you know, like fairy godmother type of thing, like the tooth fairy type of shit. So something you want maybe is happening on the 10th. 
letter P is here as well, connected to a Taurus or Taurus season, right? Or year of the ox. That's what I'm seeing here. You also have a strawberry here as well. Strawberries are like very, you know, abundant, fruitful. You know, they're a superfood. And they come in like a bunch, you know what I mean? So this is about fertility. So you could be finding out that you're getting pregnant, but like you're having like twins or triplets or whatever, you know what I mean? Like multiple pregnancies here. Or this is in your family, like multiple people are getting pregnant at the same time. You're gonna be like, wow, I'm seeing Chinese ear of the rat here as well. But this also could represent your money, that you're receiving some kind of money or abundance here. Chinese ear of the rooster and Libra is here. Okay, so... some of these and then we'll close this out you could be very busy as well like today especially or like the week you're watching this you could be very busy like a lot of stuff is happening especially with your money it says goldfish increase in material wealth or spiritual growth so it could be both or you're getting an increase in your spiritual wealth your spiritual health I'm saying health, spiritual health. Yeah, like you're becoming like, you know, not like you're fa like something about like you becoming very healthy spiritually, like facing your fears, you know. I'm hearing extinguishing the bad things. So that's really good. We have both money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. Wow, that's really great. That's what I saw on the outside of the cup. Weeping willow, family sorrow. Yeah, there's something with a family member. Maybe they're passing away, leaving you something here. I don't know, something's going on here with this because I saw the skull in the cup. Owl, good advice from a wise person. This could be someone that's older than you or this is someone coming to bring you advice. Maybe one of those Chinese ear of the dogs. Here's Chinese ear of the rat. This manga friend, uh, among friends or family. And I did see that in the cup. Like, I don't remember exactly, but there was something about them in the cup bread period of prosperity and abundance well you definitely have a lot of abundance here and prosperity bear danger especially in money matters and this could be like people in your family that maybe want to like take money from you they found out you got some money and they you know now they want to talk to you or this could be people pretending to be your friend yeah because you have a lot of wealth here i don't know what's going on play the lottery maybe you're going to win the lottery or something or this is an inheritance or something because you have a lot of money here you have three cards of abundance and prosperity. Bull, plenty of material things, yeah. I mean, if you're worried about money, like it's here, so. And it was on the outside of the cup, so that's like the first thing happening. And one of your wishes is coming true, and it could be connected to the money because the cup was stuck on the plate. So club, someone will try to make you do something against your will. And that could be someone in your family or this bear, you know, and bears represent someone in authority. This could be like your boss. Or someone that's older than you. You know. Let's see. Let's see. CJH. Hi. Zero. Z, E, R, A. Yeah, there's not equal give and take in some kind of situation that you're dealing with in May. It's like off balance and it could be with your family. Like something, something's not right and you know it. Zach, 57, always choose to do your best. Chinese year of the dog. Yeah, something took a long time here. You've been in cycles. Like the hanged man energy here. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius or any earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah, something took a very long time here, a long journey. But it'll leave you wiser and stronger at the end. That's why you had that spiritual like growth that you're getting. Yeah, you're you're divinely guided and protected right now. And something definitely is happening right now in Taurus season, or you're dealing with a Taurus. Yeah, and look, it's that evil eye, but this one's the protection one. So you're definitely protected from this evil eye, whatever that was in the cup. 
like people that are jealous of you, you're you're very protected here. Yeah, and you're working very hard with the working man here. Working very hard on something and you're just focused on your stuff. And a secret's coming to light. Something with the moon card. Something's hidden from you. But you will see the truth. Like very soon within the next four days to the month. Or the fourth. Yeah, and there's something about keeping grounded with the root chakra here. All right? So that's all I have for you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this uh, this monthly cup. And uh, make sure you watch your uh, rising first, your sun and your moon sign. Okay? All right, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Namaste. Love and light.